Capra Demon is a minor boss faced at the end of the Lower Undead Burg. The boss itself is not actually that hard to fight, but nonetheless the encounter can be very frustrating. And this is because the main danger comes from the two undead attack dogs that are also present. And because the arena which you find in is very small and very cramped. And so while the actual enemy isn't hard to face, you can still die a lot from the camera being weird, the tree obstructing your view or the enemies boxing you in and leaving you no way to escape. And especially because of that, the death to this boss can often feel quite cheap. Now one thing you can do to make the camera a little better is turning the camera auto wall recovery option to off in the settings menu. This helps a bit, but it still is a hassle and there's still the tree in the way which can take up your entire camera view. I would also strongly advise that before you face the boss, you open the shortcut back to Firelink Shrine. You can see how to do that in part eight of my walkthrough. This way, if you die and have to go back, it's a lot more convenient and a lot less annoying. So the first thing you do after you enter the fight is killing the dogs. This is strongly recommended. You really want to deal with them unless your weapon is massively overpowered, which at this stage of the game, I strongly doubt. Now, if you have a fast weapon that can kill them in one swing, like the Astora Straight Sword, for example, then you can kill them out in the open. Basically, you want to dodge one of the slower attacks of Capra itself, and then while he recovers, take one or two swings to take out the dog that comes first, and then if you move a little further into the boss room, the second one will also trigger. And then you want to deal with the dogs before dealing with Capra. This works best if you have enough poise to not be staggered by the dog's attacks, because they attack very quickly, and so they have an easy time interrupting your attacks. I would recommend getting the wolf ring. This gives you 40 poise and enables you to poise through at least one dog's attacks, and this is a massive help. This is risky fighting them out in the open, but obviously it's the fastest method because you basically kill the dogs within the first 10 seconds of the boss fight and then you only have Capra itself to deal with. The slower but safer method is running up these stairs here and onto the ledge up there. This takes Capra quite a while to get to because he has to climb up the stairs, while the dogs generally tend to be much much faster. And this gives you a longer window where Capra is not really going to be in your face but the dogs are. Again, you want some poise, and then you can kill the dogs up here. Be aware, there's a wall to your immediate right, and depending on how your weapon swings, this might actually be a problem. Ideally, use a weapon that has a stabbing motion. The Balder Side Sword, for example, is quite useful for this. If your damage isn't quite high enough to kill the dogs in one swing, you can boost it a little bit by buying a charcoal pine resin from the female undead merchant. Again, look to my walkthrough if you want to see where she is. And this gives you a decent damage boost and may push you over the edge where the dogs die in one swing instead of two, which is quite helpful, even if it might not seem to be. If you are playing with the Drake Sword, then it is still decently powerful for this fight. So that is a fast weapon that will do enough damage to the dogs to kill them in one hit. Now once the dogs are dealt with, the rest of the fight is much more straightforward. Capra just uses some basic physical attacks, some one-handed combos and some two-handed slower swings. These are all fairly easily, easily dodged and there's plenty of opportunities to get a swing in on him, even with a heavy weapon. If your stamina is high enough and you've got a very stable shield, the Baldur 6 shield plus 5 would be one such shield, then you can actually block most of his attacks. I still wouldn't recommend that, but again, if you feel more comfortable doing that, very stable shield and you can block through it. But anyway, this part shouldn't be anywhere nearly as bad as when the dogs are still alive, because Capra is just one enemy and the dogs being dead removes the major obstacle in the fight. And then it shouldn't really take long, especially if your weapons are upgraded well. Now if you really can't handle the fight, there is one way you can make it very easy. For this you will need to equip a bow. It doesn't matter if you can't use it, you just need to be able to equip it. And fire bombs. You need a little more than I have here. I think 8 black fire bombs or 13 normal ones in total. And then you stand right in this corner here and switch into free aim mode with your bow. And then you aim for the third crannel up on the battlements on that wall there. It's a little bit of positioning to get it right. And then you leave free aim 
don't change your camera whatsoever and throw your fire bombs. And you'll throw them over the wall and start damaging Capra, as you can see. And then you reset because the firebomb animation has moved you a little and rinse repeat. Position yourself, throw the firebombs. This way you can get the boss kill without ever having entered the actual boss arena. Once you've beaten the boss, you will receive 6,000 souls, one humanity, one homeward bone, and most importantly, the key to the depths. This is the item you really need to progress further into the game. The others are just a nice bonus. And there's also a low chance of him dropping the Demon Great Machete, which is another fairly heavy strength weapon that, unless you've exclusively leveled up strength to the, up to this point, you will not really be able to make much use of for now. Okay, that should be all the information you need to make this fight a little easier. It is still somewhat of a gamble because of the dogs, but perseverance is the key. Alright, let me know if you found this helpful. Any feedback, as always, is highly appreciated. And bye-bye.